or spontaneous combustion is caused by chemical reactions within the body of the coal cargo. If coal has moisture and oxygen, it will create heat and give off carbon monoxide. If not cooled, the heat can increase to the point where fire breaks out. The self-heating can be widespread throughout the cargo stow or can be quite localized in hot spots. In addition to temperature measurements, the presence of carbon monoxide is helpful in spotting when self-heating is taking place. According to the IMSBC code, self-heating is indicated when carbon monoxide levels in any cargo space reach 50 parts per million, or exhibits a steady rise over three consecutive days. Carbon monoxide is thrown off when a coal cargo is self-heating. This gas has no smell and is highly toxic. Part of the process of heating involves assumption of oxygen, and this can lead to oxygen depletion in the space above the cargo. This presents a risk of suffocation to person. The sulfur in some types of coal will react with water in the cargo to produce sulfurous acid. This can cause rapid corrosion of the ship's structure, known as cargo corrosion. As a result of the chemical reaction during the acid forming process, hydrogen is given off. Hydrogen gas is colorless and odorless, and can cause explosions in concentrations between its LEL of 4% and 75%. Various explosive and toxic gases can be present in the space of a coal cargo. When coal is being carried in bulk, ship must have instruments for measuring oxygen, methane, and carbon monoxide gas concentrations so that the atmosphere within the cargo space can be monitored. The instrument should be regularly reversed and calibrated, preferably by the manufacturer. The manufacturer's instructions must be carefully followed when in use. It should be fitted with an aspirator, flexible connection, and a length of tubing so that samples can be obtained from within the square of the hatch. In particular, the catalytic sensors normally used to detect methane rely on the presence of enough oxygen for accurate measurement. The amount of oxygen does not affect the measurement of carbon monoxide or methane by infrared sensors. A suitable filter should be used to protect the instrument against the ingress of moisture as recommended by the manufacturer. The presence of even a small amount of moisture will affect the accuracy of the measurement.